Okay, now for this particular modification that I've done, I have removed these three parts here, which is a Mitsubishi 2SC 1969 and two resistors from the biasing circuit and the output circuit of this transceiver here, which is a major M588 Cybernet Export CB radio uh, multi mode type. Uses the same board. PTBM 059 COX which is also used in ham international radios like the Jumbo, Multimode 2 and early Concord 1 also used in radios like the Lafayette 1200 FM and also the major M360 a very similar variant to many other Cybernet boarded radios now I've done many MOSFET output conversions using the IRF 520N transistor to replace the original old type 2SC 1969 and 2312 transistors. I've done many Unidens, many Cobras, Superstars, Presidents, Stalkers, but nobody so far seems to have done a Cybernet radio. Or well, if they have, they haven't had a lot of success. So, using my principle, I gave it a go. Now, over here, this is, this part here, is the final output stage of the radio, where normally the 2SC 1969 would be and all the various in biasing parts this is obviously the uh, soldered side of the board now if we get a bit closer here you can see there's a trimmer pot there which I've added which is a 50k which I use to preset the biasing to exactly the right voltage for the best result now you can see where the, uh, the, the preset pot is there are three empty holes well actually there were four but you can't see the second one in from the right because the uh, leg of the pot is soldered there in place. The front end of the pot, uh, where the single leg is, is now soldered to the 8 volt TX rail, which was where the uh, original biasing pot, which is 100 ohm on the other side of the board you can't see, is still in place. But it is disconnected from the biasing circuit because I have removed R38 and R39 which are why you can see those empty holes. Now, just a bit further there in the middle, you can see that black square component sticking up, which is soldered across the source and the gate of the MOSFET, which is soldered in place below it, in the original place of the 2SC 1969. Fits exactly the same way. You just remove the 1969, put the IRF 520 on the heat sink plate, screw it in place with the original insulator at the back, it must be insulated, solder it back in and reinstall it just like the original output transistor. Now the biasing part there that's in place is the EKL EN 369 FN which is important because you can then bias the MOSFET correctly for the best performance. You don't have to use it, if you don't use it um, basically what will happen is the MOSFET won't function properly, you get very low output. Also, if it's not biased properly, you will also get very low output and very poor quality SSB audio. So there you can see the final mod. So basically what we have done is we have removed these three parts here, over there, the original transistor, the two biasing resistors to disconnect the old circuit, over there, the new trimmer biasing pot, the, EN, the IRF 520N, which you can't see, and the EN 369FN. Three parts out, three parts in. Now, let's see what kind of power we're going to get. Believe you me, it does work very well. The output before I removed the 1969 was about 15 watts SSB PEP and about 7.5 watts AM FM, as it was set to. So let's have a look over here next to it. We have my Revex W520 power meter all set up with a dummy load in the back. We're on FM mode. We're going to key the microphone. And we have power on there. Over on the Revex, we have 10 watts. There she is. D key. Key up again. 10 watts. No problem. We're now going to go to AM mode. We're over to AM. We're keying up. We're getting just under 8 watts carrier. Audio, 
audio and you can see it swinging up there 15 almost 18 watts on the swing we're now going to go over USB we're coming back here audio 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 over to the radio audio audio no problem just under 20 watts but there we go that's the MOSFET conversion for a Cybernet multi-mode export radio principle is the same works in this one will work in many other Cybernets too including the High Gain 5 and TriStar 747 Concord 2 all those radios also using the PTBM 121D4X chassis which is a good majority of radios so there we go I tried it I thought about it I've installed it and it works.